What's going on guys, this is Damien from the Lookout and I'm finally here with how to play Black Vegito. This one was so requested, so requested, but hey guys, construction work on the roof and stuff, couldn't get it out sooner, but now we're finally here with how to play Black Vegito. But before we begin this video, two things, first off, Zenke Showdown 23rd, 24th of, po of Poland, yes, of Poland. It's in uh, Poznan, Poland, 23rd, 24th of September. Best prices in Europe. Guys, every one of our Zenkai Showdowns events is something to remember. So go buy your tickets now. Link is in the description below. And of course, huge shout out to our patrons, the Coffee Club, who buy us coffee and keep us going. And one day we will replace the broken table. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you wish to become a member of the Coffee Club, link to the Patreon is in the description below. And yeah, I guess that's it. Roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with the breakdown. So we will go over the brief archetype breakdown, lines of plays, interactions, strategy. We will show you our deck list and we will go over the first three turns of the game. And then finally, we will wrap it up with a summary. Let's go! Here is our leader, Son Goku and Vegeta. Guys, this one is phenomenal. First of the artwork is one of the best ones that I have seen. This artwork is so good. So beautiful. And now we have the Activate Main, which is insane. Insane. Activate Main once per turn. Activate Main for drawing and tutoring much better than auto draw and attack. Look at, to top, look at up to top 5 cards from the top of your deck and then add up to 1 Black Saiyan, any Black Saiyan with a cost of 6 or less to your hand and shuffle your deck. Any. Guys, and it's super easy to awaken, but any target that costs 6 or less and has to be Black Saiyan. Here's what you can get. Here are some examples. Just a couple of examples of the stuff that you can get. So, um, SS4 Vegeta, Fainted Greeting, your super combo, the other SS4 Vegeta Overrealm. You can get the Black Goku from the Cumbers archetype. You can even get Mask Saiyan to give yourself plus 5k. And you can get any other card in the archetype, plus much, much more, which are activate main. Just look at all of these phenomenal targets. Activate main, look for them, put them into your hand. Just top five. Th this is crazy. Like, this is really, really crazy good. On the Awakened side, our leader is deceptively powerful. Like, when you read it the first time, it's like, man, yeah, he doesn't do a lot, you know? Like, he kind of draws, he gives plus five as activate main. Like, yeah, but this one, trust me, deceptively powerful. For starters, you can draw two cards per turn, which is amazing. You can draw two cards per turn. That's always good. At least, but two from the leader. On top of that, you can buff a black Vegito card and buy plus 5k for free. And if you have, let's say, like a dual attacker, you just kind of give him plus 5k buff for the turn for free. Zero investment as activate made. Yeah, they, this leader is very, very good. Any leader that can just draw two cards and then give some sort of a buff. He can buff himself if he, if he wants to. He can buff himself. So um, any leader that does uh, things for free plus draws two cards is good. And this one is very, very good. We also have a Z card, the final Kamehameha. There's a lot to unpack here, let's go over it. First off, if this is in play, and it should be, when your leader, uh, your leader draws when you use Union Fusion. So it allows you to effectively draw one. Then, when you use this Activate Battle, you will warp an opponent's card, and your attacker will get plus 10k power. And then finally, if you happen to have four more energy after the battle, you get to play one Goku and one Vegeta, one drops from your drop in rest mode, allowing you to use Union Potara once more. So yeah, there, there is quite a lot that this card does, and it's very, very strong. Yeah, they, I mean, just warp 
you always draw because of your leader get plus 10k on the decisive swing guys yeah because you invest once in a z extra card and ever since after that it's just a free draw plus a free plus 10k whenever you need it as an activate battle that's that's insane for those of you who are new to the game and don't know how Union Potara works, first off, hi everyone, welcome to Dragon Ball Super Card Game, it's the best game in the world. Then, uh, let's go over it. So, you have two steps. Step 1, you need to have specific cards in play, like Son Goku and Vegeta, both black, for example. These cards don't need to be in active mode, which means that you could have just attacked with them first, and then use Union Potara. Step 2. Place them on top of each other and then place the new card on top of the entire stack. The new card is always played in active mode, which means that like yeah, as, uh, as I've said in step 1, you can attack with them and then the new card comes in active mode and then it can attack. Key thing to remember, buffs apply to the card on the top. Like if for example, Goku and Vegeta got like 10k until the end of the turn. Vegeta will get plus 10k for each of them. Here's how it works. Here's an example and a nice little combo that you can do in this deck. So you have this Spike one, Unison. You use his plus 1 to give your Goku and Vegeta plus 10k for the turn. You target your 1 drops, now they're 14k, each got plus 10. And then you use Union Potara. You stack them, so like Goku goes on Vegeta or whatever direction you want, and then you put Vegeta on top of them. Because they are stacked and they got plus 10k for, plus 10K for the turn, this plus 20k in total will transfer to the Vegito until the end of the turn. And then your Vegito is effectively 40k. So, yeah. Uh, this buff will last until the end of the turn as originally intended but hey if you wish to go with this route you basically gave your Vegito plus 20k for free that's pretty cool we also have two z cards one of them is better than the other and this is the better one so my together with trunks one cost one z energy you need this card to awaken on turn two it has barrier, which is okay protection, but it doesn't have deflect. So there are ways of preventing it from hitting play. And its activate main is... Uh, well, let's go through it. If your leader is a black card with both Son Goku and Vegeta or a black Vegito, and you place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck and you switch this card to rest mode, this is why it has barrier, because you can just use this whenever you want now. Add up to one Vegito card with an energy cost of 6 or less from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, yeah, it is okay, it gets you your Vegito from the deck. Oh, sorry, excuse me, did I say it is okay? It's phenomenal. It grabs any Vegito, any color, doesn't matter. And here is a cute combo, shout out to Sleepy Squish who came up with this, he's in our discord, he just comes up with crazy combos. Uh, you can draw 3 cards for 1 energy. Yeah, you can draw 3 for 1. Why and how? Well, you see this Mai can get you any Vegito. She can get you the free cost. The blue free cost, but blue free cost has Yudin Potara for 1 energy with Goku and Vegeta doesn't specify the color and he says when you play him draw one and if you played him with Union draw another one and then your leader says if you have the Z extra card in play and you play a card you using Union draw another one so for free energy no for one energy you drew three cards you drew three cards so yeah my and this Vegeta yeah pretty good Pretty good, not gonna lie. Our second Z battle card is this Trunks, and he's just okay. He's just okay. Nothing too special here. He's 20k body with deflect, single striker. Yeah, that's fine. The best thing about him is that you can just pay one energy to play him, and uh, then you get your Goku and Vegeta from 
uh, from your drop in rest mode and then you can union fusion so like that's it but yeah i mean like this one is just okay it's good recursion and that's it my my is infinitely better than this one we have three vegeto cards to go over so let's start with this one this one is from the deck itself uh it's your big payoff so it's a 20k deflect body which will usually draw you a card on play because of your leader's ability he can easily become 40 45k dual attacker with paikuhan plus leader because of how things stack but sadly he doesn't have a strike skill He's dual attacker, but he's single strike, so he deals just one damage. But we also have two other Vegitos from the set itself. So here is the second Vegito. This one is amazing. This one is great. It has double strike. He warps a battle card when you play him. He also can give himself give himself plus 10k, but you can make him a lot lot bigger because this auto which gives him plus 10k, doesn't have once per turn, it doesn't have a limit to 1, you can go out of your way to make this guy huge. You can do that. There are ways of doing this. So as far as these Vegitos go, this one is amazing. Plus it will also draw you a card because of your leader and the DZ extra card. Now finally we have one more, and this one is also from the set. This one is a blocker, so he's a deflect blocker, he's very good, at worst he's just a 20k blocker, which also warps a smaller card, at best he's a much bigger blocker, which is protection from removal, thanks to his permanent, so uh, yeah, this one also very very good, when I say like at best much bigger, there are also like ways to buff this one, but uh, yeah, it's solid, uh, you Union Fusion for free, you only pay for the one with the strike skill, so this one will also draw you a card when you do this. Anyways, uh, that's what I was. That's what I wanted to say about these Vegitos. Three Vegitos, all three of them very, very good. Here is the deck list, guys. So we will be using this deck list, link is in the description below. This is not an optimized build. It's more like a skeleton, a blueprint, and then you can go and approve on it how you want. But yeah, this is a very, very archetype-based list. We will be going through this one in turns 1, 2, and 3. And now let's just jump into the mall again. One week later in real life, and we're finally going over the mall again. So here's what you want to keep. Vegeta or Goku. Doesn't matter which one, just one of them. Uh, take a 6-drop Vegito, let's say this one, the one from the starter deck, and take another Vegito. Uh, when it comes to Mulligan, it really doesn't matter that much, as long as you have fusion pieces and a Vegito, because the deck tutors a lot, so you will always see your pieces, but at least make sure to have one Vegito, preferably this 6-drop or the other one, with Union Fusion for free so that you can immediately draw a card and to have one Vegeta as a fusion piece. Let's go over the first three turns. Okay, so there's a lot of variety here caused mostly by your off-color Vegitos, but usually the first two to three turns are the same, so we will focus on them. We will focus mostly on the build that we have shown you. So we're not touching the off-color Vegitos here. As always, we'll be using the provided deck list we're assuming that you've kept the show mulligan and that you're going first. It's fusion time. Let's see what Vegito can do. Turn one, the usual setup. This is your usual turn one setup. So it's basically always the same. You start the game, you charge one, and then you use activate main of your leader to get a say. And let's say you get this one. You usually get whatever you need. But in this case, let's say it's this Vegito. You shuffle the deck, you pay one, to play either your Goku or Vegeta, his auto triggers and gets the other one into play. This is your very standard turn one. Just don't forget to charge a card from your hand into your Z energy, from the hand. You don't wish to charge with the guys on the board because you will need them for fusion. Turn to Awakening and playing our first Vegito. We start the turn, charge one and then pay one and one Z energy to play Mai. And these take trunks, of course. Play, put trunks under my. 
Then ZStack resolves. After that, we just use the activate main from our leader because there's no reason not to do it. We get a card, let's say it's this Vegito, get anything. Shuffle the deck and awaken. We draw one, we restand one. And then we attack, we draw one, and then we combo and charge a Z energy. Then we pay one and one Z energy to play the final Kamehameha. Now it's time for fusion. Union Potara, our fusion pieces are on the board. We place them under our sixth drop Wujito. We play him, auto triggers from our leader to draw one because we have just played a Wujito using a union skill. Then activate main from our leader to give our Wujito plus 5k for the turn, time to attack and we swing at our opponent. Following that, mid-battle, we activate battle twice, because our Vegito has two effects. Uh, we pay one to restand him, and we use the other effect to combo. Then we restand him, attack resolves, attack again, attack resolves, and then we pass the turn. Turn 3. Putting on the pressure. We start the turn, charge one, pay one, to play a Vegeta. Auto triggers, we get a Goku. Shuffle the deck, and then Potara into the 6th drop. Potara resolves. We play the 6 drop, auto triggers, draw 1 from leader, and now it is time to attack. We attack with our 6 drop, activate battle, combo with a card, attack resolves, and then we pay 1 to play Trunks, and Trunks plays our 1 drops from the drop area, the Goku and Vegeta. Then we pay 1. First of all, how did we get both of them? By using activate battle to combo the one that we don't have and send him to the drop. So then we just pay one to play our double striker Vegito. He warps a card, attacks, attack resolves. Then we attack with the trunks, attack resolves, and then finally we attack with our leader. We draw one, and that's it for turn three. Before we end the video, let's jump into the summary. Vegito looks pretty amazing. We have shown you a strictly black archetype gameplay breakdown. The deck is much, much better when you start adding blue and red Vegitos, there is a red Vegito which you can use, he, he, he is in the deck build, there is also a blue one, we have shown you that one which just draws 3 cards for 1 energy, that's insane. Anyway, uh, when combined with blue, you will get extra draw and defense, because you can also use Senzubin, for example. As far as starter decks goes, this is one of the better ones, it's not Majin Vegeta levels of strong, but it's infinitely better than the awful Green Gohan one. So, as far as starter decks go, this is one of the better ones. The deck is pretty cheap to build and easy to play. Nothing here is expensive, so if you're looking to jump into the game, this is a good starting point. I highly recommend this one for new players. It's simple, it teaches you the Z extra card mechanic, it shows you some fusion tricks, most of it is in the set, Things that aren't in the deck are in the set. So yeah, it's it's a pretty cool pretty cool deck for new and returning players. And yeah, that's it for the video. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you hyped for starter Vegito? This one looks cool. It's a long expected leader. And I think there are some cool tricks with this one. I think this one is gonna be okay. Like it's probably not gonna be tier one, but it's gonna be strong. Let me know what you guys think. Are you hyped to give this deck a go? Let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I really, really love our little community. And guys, while you're here, click those share, like and subscribe buttons. Help us get to 3k subs. We have less than 90 left to go. Maybe we can hit it by the end of summer. That would be awesome. And then we're gonna have an awesome giveaway. This has been Damien from The Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.